This lecture is organized by Dr. Alemi and narrated by Yara Alemi. The lecture is based on the Open Intro Statistics book. A data matrix is a table in which rows are cases and columns are variables. This is a common way to organize data for analysis. Here is an example. The matrix shows rows 1, 2, 3, and 50 of a data set concerning 50 emails received during early 2012. Each row in the table represents a single email or case. The column represents characteristics of the emails. The characteristics are called variables. For example, the first row represents email number one, which is not spam and contains 21,705 characters and 551 line breaks is written in HTML format and contains only small numbers. The description of each variable should also accompany a data matrix. It is always important to make sure that one understands the exact definition of each variable. Variables are either numerical or categorical. A numeric variable can take a wide range of numeric values, and it is sensible to add, subtract, or take averages with these values. An example is a dollar amount of expenses. A categorical variable is a number, but it cannot be added, averaged, or summed. A telephone area code is a number, but it cannot be averaged and summed, and the difference of the two area codes has no meaning. There are two types of numeric values, continuous and discrete. A discrete variable can only take whole, non-negative numbers, for example, 0, 1, 2, and so on. It is discrete since it can only take numeric values with jumps in between. Count of patients who are hospitalized is a discrete variable. On the other hand, spending variables is said to be continuous because it can assume fractions of whole numbers. There are also two types of categorical variables. In ordinal categorical value variables, the numbers assigned reflect the rank or order of something. For example, numbers given to international classifications of disease are a regular categorical var variable. They are just numerical names for the disease. In contrast, severity scores are ordinal variables. They typically show that one disease has a worse prognosis than the other, but not how much more. This section defines data matrix and types of variables. Let us test your knowledge of definitions of variable types. See if you can answer this question.